Hey guys, it's Philly Yumus here, and legendary Pokemon are coming into the game, and you can play it. This is not clickbait. This is not a drill. This is a brand new leaked game mode that they're going to be doing soon. I'm not sure if it's going to be a new map or whatever. Big shout out to Sabu Datamine for getting all this info. I'll leave a link to his Twitter below. But we have video of legendary Pokemon that you can play. Look at this. First up is Reggie Gigas. This is probably my favorite one. We has Hyper Beam and Bodos. Let's check it out, guys. All right. Oh, man, am I excited. I've not seen any of these yet. I just collected them all here, and I'm going to watch it with you guys here. Check this out. Look how big Reggie Gigas is. Look at that. His Bodos compared to Garchomp Bodos, man. <laughs> he looks like he does big damage with his auto attacks. He's the size of the lane, dude. Look how crazy this is. So this is gonna somehow tie into the new game mode. His hyper beam comes out of his hands. Interesting. Look at it, it's Reggie Gigas, bro. Is this not amazing? Wow, his autos do a lot of damage, and his hyper beam does a lot of damage. Wow. The audio and all that might not be fully synced. Um, I can't really help that. That's just part of the video. Maybe I'll try it. I, I tried to fix up the video as much as I can in post. It's not in 1080p. So hopefully it looks good for you guys. But oh man, Reggie Gigas. Let's see Reggie Gigas scoring. Okay, it doesn't have a score animation yet. But I think later when the game comes out, he will have it. But oh, that is so sick. This is one of many, guys. We have a lot of new Pokemon to look forward to today, guys. Right? It's not just Reggie Gigas. You guys like legendaries, right? What's everyone's favorite legendary in solo queue? Actually, I should say, what's everyone's most hated legendary in solo queue? You ready? It is Zapdos. Zapdos is in here too. Let's check out Zapdos. Zapdos has Thunder and an unnamed move. I'm, I'm assuming Thunderbolt or Charge Beam or something. Let's see. Thunder looks like it's like it just activates around you. Maybe it's Electro Ball. It shoots a ball, right? Wow, Zapdos' auto is hurt. Even at level 1, Zapdos' auto is hurt. So Thunder just summons lightning all around you, it looks like, in a circle. Yeah, that might be Electro Ball. Interesting. <laughs> what legendary do you guys want to play as, guys? Oh, man. Yo, Vulpix. Oh, my God. Vulpix didn't even stand a chance, bro. This is crazy to me, guys. I don't think they have Unites. Do you think they have Unites? Oh, Zapdos has a charging animation. Oh, I mean, as a scoring animation, but it didn't score, actually. Okay, so the animations aren't fully done yet. Let's pause this, and let's see if we have a Unite on this character. No, it doesn't look like we have a Unite because the video cuts off. What would Zapdos' Unite be, man? Oh my god, this A9 never stood a chance. There is Zapdos. I'm assuming there's no Unites yet. Let's go back to Regigigas. Did Regigigas have a Unite? No. No, Regigigas also does not have a Unite. Okay. Uh, let's check out some of the other ones, though. We have Zapdos. We have Regigigas. What about Araquanid? A lot of you guys that don't play Quick Match might not know about this Pokemon, but this Pokemon's in the game. It is in the Carousel one. Not the Carousel. You know the, the Quick Match with all the conveyor belts? This is one of the mini bosses there. So check out Araquanid. It has Hydro Pump and I'm assuming Lunge because Lunge is Araquanid's like signature move. Hydro Pump and Lunge maybe? Yeah, I think that's gonna be Lunge. He looks like he jumps in and just lands. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Araquanid, man. It's no Reggie Gigas, but hey, still pretty dang cool. Hydro Pump just looks like, it just looks like Blastoise's Hydro Pump. Let me see if you do. Oh, snap back to, <laughs> snap back to reality. So it seems like he has a jump. He plays kind of like Blastoise. He jumps in maybe and then just Hydro Pumps you back. Come on. Oh, it got canceled again. Yo, this, this Vulpix is putting up a way better fight. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Just the auto attack skill, but never mind. Here we go. Can we get Hydro Pump now? Let's see. Let's see if we get a Hydro Pump going. Nope, let's go for the score. It doesn't have a scoring animation either yet. Yep. Hydro Pump. Not Hydro Pumping. There we go. Yep, just like Blastoise, it just pushes you back a bit. Okay. Let's go into the next one there then. Okay, that is Araquanid. Let's check out Tauros. Tauros, if you guys remember, was in the game during um, the Christmas update. So, they brought back Tauros. 
Look at Tauros. Tauros looks pretty fast. Tauros has Bodos as well. A lot of Pokemon have Bodos in this game, it seems. And it has, I'm assuming that's Tackle or... Yeah, that looks like Tackle. Tackle or Body Slam, maybe. Or, or Double Edge, maybe. Look at that. Wow. Tauros, okay. It seems like a more of a simple one here, Tauros, but still pretty cool looking. It has a really long range tackle. Wait, now that I look at it, it's really, really long range. Maybe if it hits an enemy, it goes even further. Because when it, when it didn't hit it, it didn't go that far. Uh oh. The Vulpix is messing up Tauros, man. We're gonna have to go back and heal. It looks faster than it actually is. Doesn't it look like it's going really fast? But it's not actually going that fast. Yeah, maybe you can cancel it preemptively because it looks like it moves a lot shorter than the indicator. Oh, let's see it. Let's see it now. Push. Oh. Oh, maybe if you're if you're hitting an enemy, it will keep pushing. I think that's what it is. All right, no scoring animation for Tauros either. Let's see if you can push the bees. Yeah, push the bees here. No. Let's see if we can get attack off on the bees. Do the bees kill Tauros here? Uh oh, this is getting. Uh oh. Oh, see, look, that's what I was saying. When you're pushing an enemy, it goes the maximum distance, it seems. Okay, Electrode next up. Let's go. Taurus is pretty short. Though. Let's go Electrode now. Electrode, of course, has his signature explosion. And Discharge, it looks like. Explosion Discharge. Okay, so Discharge looks just like Zara's Discharge. Interesting. I love how his auto attack is just him jumping, bro. <laughs> okay, another Discharge. You think he's gonna die if he uses Explosion? That would be kind of funny if he actually dies. Let's see. Let's see if he actually dies while using explosion. Yep, discharge seems pretty good. Guys, tell me in the comments which one do you guys' favorite. We have a few more to show you guys right here. Explosion? You die if you use explosion! Oh my god, that's so funny. That is so funny. Okay, you actually die. Let's go back real quick. Let me show y'all. Let's not spoil Avalog real quick. Look at this, you actually die. So look, we di he discharges, and then the explosion kills you. Wow, I actually kind of like that. That's kind of funny, I like that. Let's check out Avalog now. This is the boss in another one of the quick matches. Okay. Avalog just bites people down. He has Ice Beam, it looks like, an Iron Defense. Yeah, Ice Beam and Iron Defense. Look at that. Iron Defense probably gives him a lot of resistances. Oh, it gives him a big shield, too. Look at that, how big that shield is. Or is that just from the, the tower? I don't know. No, it gives him some sort of resistance for a while. You see, the bubble is still on him. So it gives him, it probably gives him like heavy damage resistance, knowing Avalon, right? Look at this thing. This dude is a tank. He bites. He doesn't have an enhanced auto. It seems like these Pokemon don't have enhanced autos, they just have normal auto attacks. I don't know how we're going to be able to play as these Pokemon in this new mode, but it seems interesting. This is the direction we need to go. Not that stupid pumpkin stuff, like the Halloween event where you become a pumpkin. I want to become an Avalog, a Regigigas, a Zapdos. Not a pumpkin. Seems like Avalog is not much stuff. No recall animation, none of that stuff. Okay, let's check out the next one there. There's Avalog. Alright, while we are on ice types, guess what's next? Articuno! Articuno was here for the Christmas update. Maybe they'll bring in Moltres as well. They might as well, right? There's no way they let you play Zapdos and Articuno and not Moltres. Right? But we don't have information on that yet. Check out Articuno. Articuno looks just like kind of like a reskin of Zapdos, maybe. Yeah, it has like a, the same, like... Yeah, it's pretty similar to Zapdos. Maybe the Blizzard or the... Yeah, I'm gonna assume it's Blizzard, right? Does more damage to AoE. So it has Blizzard and Ice Beam, whereas Zapdos has... A Thunderbolt and Thunder. The Blizzard looks like it hits around you more than Zapdos. The Zapdos one more, looks more targeted. This one looks more sporadic and random. Articuno actually looks better than Zapdos, from what I see. But I've honestly only seen like three seconds of it, so don't take my word for anything. Oh my god, there goes Orphix. The big, the big final boss legendary do seem like they do more damage than like the Tauros. The Tauros didn't do this much damage. So I'm not sure how they're going to balance it. Maybe every team can only have one Zapdos or one Legendary, and then everyone else has to pick Lily Pups and Apoms and stuff, you know? Maybe that's how it's gonna be. 
Alrighty, cool stuff. Yep, there's only a few more guys. We only have about nine Pokemon so far, but as more comes on, I might make another video. What do you guys think? Should I make another video if they release like Apom and like Boofaran and all that stuff, guys? So far, we only got these nine. So, the auto, who knows? Auto attacks are man, dang. Okay. Yeah, man, the Blizzard, yep. Okay, let's go next one. Next one. All right, pop quiz, guys, all right? What Pokemon do solo queuers hate the most that is not a legendary? If you answer Dreadnought, that is correct. The one that no one rotates to. Now, you don't need to worry about rotating to Dreadnought. You can play as Dreadnought and rotate to your team. Let's go. And then the enemy team might avoid you, bro. Let's see. It looks like it has Hydro Pump as well and Earthquake, maybe? Hydro Pump and Earthquake. Okay. Yeah, it looks like Earthquake. Earthquake or Stomp. I'm, I'm assuming it's Earthquake. Maybe it's Bodos again. I don't know. The Hydro Pump is really low distance, man. But maybe it does a lot of damage. Yeah, it seems like there's like the bird archetype, and then this plays more like Avalog. He's <laughs> he just bites, he just bites people. Dude. Oh, it pushes you back a lot. The Hydro Pump on this guy pushes you back so much. Okay, he has the Earthquake. Who misses? Unfortunate. Oh, we're diving the Vulpix, man. Four Vulpix. Okay, pushes him back. Let's see the Earthquake damage. Are we gonna die to Vulpix here? We're about to die to Vulpix, man. Yo, we're about to die to Vulpix. Oh, we cut the video. <laughs> okay, so there it is. There it is. We didn't get to see it, sadly. Next one up, and is this our final Pokemon? We did oh, Tauros. We did Electro. We did Avalog. We did Arcuno. Araku, Nid, Regigas, Zapdos, Dreadnought. Yep. Final Pokemon here, guys. Drop a like. Tell me what you guys think about this so far, guys. It is Lulicolo. This is going to be a silly one, actually, bro. This is going to be a silly one. Wow, that water gun hurts. And he has Giga Drain, too. So here's a move you don't see too much from Ludicolo. It looks like it's just a, a, a wider Giga Drain from Venusaur. It looks really wide. Yeah, look how wide it looks. And it looks... It's just a better Giga Drain from Venusaur. Wow, okay. Cool stuff. Yeah. Dude, I like Ludicolo. He seems pretty cool. Look at him slapping with the mittens, man. Guys, which one is everyone's favorite? I think my favorite is probably Regigigas, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. Big Regigigas in the building, baby, all right? He's the size of a lane. I'm gonna play Defender Regigigas for the team if this comes out, guys, all right? Imagine this is a game mode that comes out that has ranked and stuff. I'll be Defender Regigigas, holding down bot lane with hyper beams. Well, this is, it's, oh, it's interesting to think about. Guys, what position do you guys think they'll play, too? Like, Reggie Gigas is gonna probably play bot lane, so he's a defender, right? And then, who's gonna play jungle? Maybe Tauros jungle. Tauros versus Kufaran, right? Or maybe Electro jungle, because Electro looks like it clears pretty fast. And then, uh, Zapdos top, maybe, since it's like a good solo. I don't even know, but it is so cool, guys. Isn't this so cool? Oh, Audinos. Maybe next time they, they leak some more, it's gonna be like Audinos, Apoms, and all that. But who wants to play as an Apom, right? Well, you can play as Zapdos. Who wants to play as Napalm? I don't know how it's going to work. But there's Lulicolo, yeah? You have no Unites and all that. That's probably going to be the end of it here, guys. All right? I'll play some more of the Reggie Gigas one for you guys here. Yep. But yeah, that's probably going to be the end of the video. Just a quick leak on the new mode coming out. Very interesting. You get to play as Legendaries. I never thought I'd see the day where I can play Reggie Gigas in Pokemon Unite. If you asked me this a week ago, i have been like, you are on one, bro. But hey, it's happening. It's happening, man. No one expected Trevenant Greedent, and no one expected you to be able to play as Reggie Gigas in like a week, bro. This is awesome. I don't know when the update's gonna come out. Wow! Look at that Bodo's range. Holy moly. All right, that's probably gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed, guys. All right, I'm gonna call it for now. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Drop a like, subscribe, turn on the bell so you're always, you know, up to date with all the cool new stuff so you're never late. Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys next time.